you don't need to spend much money for illumination of buildings. I'll show in this video how to install cheap illumination and how to get rid of flickering LED lights. Hello fans of model railways! Here in Germany autumn has begun and the sun sets earlier every day, so the evenings are already dark. That reminded me of my childhood when I'd love to run my model trains in the dark and have my tiny buildings illuminated. That gave me a cozy feeling watching those tiny lights. This is the train station I want to illuminate and this building has the usual paper mask inside so only the windows are illuminated. We all know these little socket lamps for illumination run with 16 volts AC. They are put under the building and turned on. I'll show you in the dark how this looks. The problem with this type of illumination is, it takes a lot of energy from the power supply to run these lamps and they offer not much illumination. So you will need another power supply for illumination when you want to run trains too. Furthermore, they are quite expensive to buy in relation to other light sources. And these lamps will get hot too, which is another problem on small plastic models, because they will melt. A better lighting solution are these LED stripes you get for little money. I have in this package 5 meters of LED lights and it did cost me about 5 euros. So you get 1 meter for 1 euro and have a lot of light sources on this meter. These stripes are marked where you can cut the strip with a scissor, so the smallest unit is a short stripe with three lights. On the back, the strip provides adhesive tape, so you can simply stick the strip in your model very easily. I cut off a piece of stripe at the mark and cut open the power cable with a knife, because I want to unsolder this plug. To unsolder this, I attach the stripe to a piece of wood and remove the cabling. Then I solder my own cable to the stripe at the points marked positive and negative. I cut the tables to the length I need to fix the stripe into the model. Then I do a short test if the soldering is good and the LEDs light up. In the next step I glue the stripe to the upper part of the paper mask in the model using the adhesive backside. And I do another test how it will look in the dark. LEDs are run by DC current, but the old transformers of Märklin system provide 16 volts AC. 
so I use another power source from an old device I no longer have. This power supply provides 12 volts DC with 400 milliampers, and I did cut the small plug of the power supply, solder the ends of the cable and screw them into a power clamp. I connect the LED strip for a test and the LEDs light up. I find 12 volts a little too bright for the model, so I calculate the resistor to reduce the voltage from 12 volts to 9 volts by the law of Ohm. The calculation gives me 6 ohms, but I only have a resistor with 10 ohms, so I'll use this one. The LEDs are less bright now, but they flicker. You can't recognize this in the video, but they appear darker in the video than in reality. This may depend on the frame rate. I need to stabilize the power supply with a capacitor. To protect the capacitor, I also use a diode. I do a quick and dirty test by screwing the diode and the capacitor into the clamps and do a test. The LEDs now run smoothly without flickering. They appear brighter now, but they are as bright as before when flickering. The video plays a trick to the eye here. When you switch off the power, the LEDs will fade slowly because of the capacitor. I solder the small electronic layout on a board before soldering the cable from the power supply to it.
I do a small test of my board and it works. I want additional lighting outside and attach a wall lamp to the building. You can get this model lamps from EVE model. They come in packages with the resistors you need to run them safely. I drill a small hole in the wall of the model, put the cable through this hole and attach the lamp with fast set glue. A quick test, I already connected the lamp parallel to the LED stripe using the protective resistor and all is fine. And so I put the building in place on my layout. And this is how it looks in the dark now. Very nice. This is the locomotive shed I already equipped with an LED stripe and in the small side room I'd like to have an effect lighting to simulate welding done in this room. I'll try this with this tea candles as they are called in Germany. They try to simulate a natural candle. So I try them first how they look, but they do not much flicker as strong as I need. They look more like a slow burning candle. And the test in the model shows it looks more like a burning oven or stove. It may look much nicer when illuminating a church, especially now when the holidays are coming. So I open up the tea light the hard way and cut it open. The light contains a simple wiring of a switch and not much electronics. So I unsolder the cabling, solder my own cables to the LED and carefully remove the LED and the small board. I add the resistor for protection because the LED is run with 3 volts and glue the LED into the church.
and this is how it looks like. Reminds me of a church lit by a thousand candles. I have some LEDs of a different color. I want to use for the welding light effect, but I don't know how to do it by now. I'll get back to that in another video. Thank you for watching my video. All parts and tools I used are linked below in the video description as affiliate links where you can buy the parts and tools you need to improve your model railway. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you want to get more information to improve your model railway the non-expensive way, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit also the bell button so you will be informed when I upload a new video. If you want to support me, you can hit the thanks button below and give me any amount you like, or you can use my PayPal link, or you can have a look at my Amazon wishlist. Thank you again for watching, and until next time.